Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So in the last video, we have created this sign up screen and we also sent the post request with this data to our API and we created a record in our database. Now let's try registering the same user again. So if I will enter the same email again, click on sign up and you can see our app is crashing. This is because uh, this string is null here because when the user already exists in our database, then we are getting an error code, which is 4xx and right now we are returning 422. So what we need to do is we need to check here if response code if it is equals to equals to 201 because in our API let me show you in our API when we are creating a user we are returning 201 or 422. So if the response code is 201, that means we have a success and we can move ahead. Else we have an error. So in that case, we can get the error using, I will copy the same line, copy, paste. So we can get the error using response.errorbody.string. So this is how we can read the error and this time as well we need to handle the exception. So I will put the try above everything. Fine. So we have the success string or error string. So let's try running the application again. Let's put the same values again. Click on sign up and you can see this time we are getting the correct message. Okay, this visor is not rendering the good quality image. So let me check what is the issue. Let me just connect it again. So it is looking good now. Click on sign up and you can see we are getting the correct response or response body this time and application is not crashing. So this is the raw JSON response that we are using from the API call. But what we need to do is we need to parse this response and parsing JSON is very easy. The typical way of parsing the JSON is we can create a JSON object here. So what we can do, we can write something like this here string s equals to null fine now we are reading the response in this s now here we can write if s not equals to null we will convert this s to a json object because what we are getting from the response is a json object that means starting from curly braces and ending with curly braces so if you don't know about JSON, then what you can do is you can search JSON in Google. You can read about JSON from here, w3schools.com. So basically what is JSON? It helps us to interchange data between platforms. So you can see here JSON is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. So here you can see we have a JSON object and a JSON object starts from a curly brace, ends with a curly brace. And inside JSON, we have values in name and value pair. So this is name, this is value. This is name, this is value. This is name, this is value. So this is what we call a JSON object. And you can learn the details here. And it is needed to build application. So please learn it from there. So now, I will tell you how do we parse a JSON string. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to convert the string to JSON object and it is very simple. Just create a JSON object.
fine now inside this constructor of json object we will pass the string that we want to convert to a json object fine now it will raise an exception so we need to wrap this up inside try and catch sorry we need to use this json object not not this one okay this is the class from json library and right now we are not using json we are using the default json which is available in android so we will write json object and then the object name equals to new json object and then we will pass the string inside now it will raise an exception so we need to wrap it up inside try and catch so we have our json object now as you can see in our response we have error and message two keys so to read a key from a json object what we write uh, json object dot get then data type now here you can see the value for this key error is boolean it is giving true or false so error is true so it will return a boolean so whatever the data type you are trying to read you have a method we have get boolean get string get int get double and we have a lot of options you can see boolean double int json array object we can have a json object inside a json object so we can use this method get long get string we also have get json array if there is an array inside the json object we can use this method to read the array or get the array so right now we have to use get boolean and the key of this boolean is error now here we can check if error and instead of writing like this we can directly write like this so if there is an error that means we can display the message the error message but as you can see here we already have the error message defined here user already exists so we do not need to check this condition we can simply write here copy this thing toast and instead of this s json object dot get string the second key has the value string you can see it here message is a string in double quotes so we can use get string and we can put the key that we want to read now here we do not need to display a toast as this is a raw json response fine now let's try running this thing again put the values click on sign up and you can see we are getting the message user already exist if we will change the value here let's say pro, pro bilal khan 1 and if we will click on sign up again you can see user created successfully and we have a new user in our database you can see pro bilal khan 1 so it is working fine now this is the typical method of parsing json but as you can see in our retrofit client we have added a converter factory which is json converter factory and it will do the parsing automatically so what you need to do is you need to create model classes for example we can create a default response class here okay now in our default response what we have we have oops we remove the json but we have error and message so here we can define private boolean the data type and then the variable name now you have two options you can keep the variable name same as the json object key name or if you want a different name let's say err 
then what you can do you can use a serialized name annotation and you can put the json object key name here so either you give the same name or use this annotation so whatever you want to use use it and then we have message and it is string fine now we can create a constructor and get us to get the value fine now in our api call we can define the call as uh, the call type as our default response this time we will not use the response body but we will use default response so this call will return us an object of default response now here in main activity we have to delete this thing so i hope you have written this thing so you can write it by pausing this video so i will delete this code for now then i will define the call type as default response then i will do the same thing in queue i will type new control space bar hit enter now this time in response i have default response as the type now here again i can check if response dot code equals to equals to 200 else that's it now here i can write uh, response dot body and this time the body method will return an instance of de default response and all the json object is parsed to the java object that we created so here we can simply create a default response and in case of the error we will get the same thing that we got before so here you need to parse the response so let's remove this case for now so if response code sorry it is 201 so if response code is okay we will get the response body and then we can simply display the toast and we can use the dr dot get msg then the length and then the show so here you can see the json object is very easily passed into our java class so let's try running the application again click on sign up and you can see we have the message user created successfully in the else part we can again put the toast like some error occurred or this email already exist or you can parse the response here so right now we only have two option if the user created or it is already exist so we can put user already exist or here we can check else if response dot code equals to equals to let's say 422 so we need to code our api accordingly so that we will know what is this error code means okay so if it is 422 right now we have two options for 422 so we can change user failure failure to some other code then in the android part we will understand what the score means so we can do it but right now we are learning the things so it is not that important so that's it for this video guys in this video we learned how we parse json object using the default way and using the json library I hope you found this video helpful if you did then please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you guys this is belal khan signing off